Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First of all, thanks a lot for amazing response on part one of service no scripting questions. Your support really means a lot. In this part two video, we'll look into a single and very important interview style question that is write a script to process the following JSON and create the incident and change request. Now here is the surprising part. I have asked this question to nearly 50 candidates and hardly one or two were able to answer it correctly. The reason is simple. Interviewers are not just checking your service no knowledge. They are testing your JavaScript fundamentals. Things like looping through JSON, access object properties and writing clean logic. So in this video, I'll walk you through the right approach step by step. And if you are new to JavaScript or want to brush up, I have created some videos where I demo JavaScript basics directly in service no background script. I'll leave the link in the description. Let's get started. So here is the question where we need to process this JSON object and create the incidents and change requests. Okay. Now uh, this is the object. Inside the object we have uh, the arrays, incident array, where we can see there are two objects, uh, both contain short description and description. Okay. And in the change request also, that's an array. We need to create the change request using short description and description here. And there are two conditions. If the short description is empty, then we don't need to create the incident or change request. And if the description is empty, then we need to add the short description in the description field. Okay, so let's get started. I have created the variable here to store the JSON. Now we want the table names incident and change request dynamically. We need to pick it from uh, the object. So what we can do is we can just do a for loop on the object okay how we can do that variable will say key in json okay now so always uh, try to add the logs while uh, showing it to interviewer then uh, they'll get the confidence so if i just add the uh, info on key then we can see uh, we have the table names here incident and change request in other way how we can do that uh, we can just say variable keys equal to object dot keys and then I'll just say JSON. Okay. Now uh, this keys is an array. So if I do gs dot info keys dot length. Uh, okay, that's two. And if I do keys dot two string, then we can see incident and change request are here. Okay. So this is how we can dynamically uh, get the table names. Uh, from this okay uh, to initialize the glide record okay so we'll just take them first key is nothing but the table so i can just replace this with table just to make it clear okay now we have the table with us now what we want uh, is this array okay to process incidents we want this array and in both the cases we have short description and description fields only so what i'll do is variable i'll just say records is equal to json of table okay so now in this records this is the array so let's just print that gs.info records dot length okay so if i print this then i should get two okay because in uh, each array we have uh, two objects here okay the length is two okay now I want to loop over this again, right? So I'll just create one more for loop. So I can create the for loop also, or else I can go with for each also. Okay. So I'll just do for each and then function will just do it like this. And inside this, we'll just define a variable that's a record. Okay. Now I'll just do gs.info. I'll just check whether. Uh, I'm getting the short description or not. Okay, so I'll just do short underscore description. So let's just print that. So now I'm able to see the short description. One is empty because in one of them, we don't have the short description and we had the condition uh, to not create the record if the short description is empty. Okay, so now I'm able to successfully uh, get the short descriptions. Okay, so now let's add the conditions. Now if record dot short description if record dot short description is present then only we need to proceed okay so we don't need to add it like equal to equal to uh, is not equal to empty like this okay javascript will understand it uh, if we just add this 
this condition javascript will check for null value javascript will check for undefined javascript script will check for uh, empty value okay so if the value is present then only it will go inside otherwise it will not go okay so now we know uh, that there is value short description so now we will initialize uh, the we'll say gr task will initialize the glide record okay new glide record and we have already fetched the table that is here so we'll just add that table here okay and then we'll just say gr task dot initialize okay now uh, so we'll say gr task dot short underscore description is equal to this record dot short description right so we'll put that here okay now there is next condition that is if uh, the description is not present so if record dot description if that is present then what we'll do we'll add it to the description field okay so i'll just do it like this okay gr task dot description is equal to record dot description okay if the if the description is not present then our condition says add the short description in the description so what it means is i'll just take this in the description we'll just put the short description whatever we have received okay so i'll just add this here okay now our, both of our conditions are satisfied so i'll just do gr task dot insert okay so now let's run this now we can see uh, two incidents are created and one change request is created why one change request because uh, we have short description empty in one of the change request okay so now uh, and we can see uh, in this case the description is empty where the short description should be in the description so let's go to the incident table and check incidents we'll just add created on today Okay, the description field is not in the list layout so let's add that okay so we can see uh, in this case as description is empty the short description itself is added in the description here we had a separate description that's why it is added okay so uh, these two are created like that okay now let's go and check the change request let's add the filter created on today okay so we have one change request created here let's add the description also here so we can see description is also populated so this is how uh, we can process the uh, JSONs. okay now interviewer may ask to create a scripted rest api for this so for that what we should do is We'll just go and create a scripted REST API and we'll just uh, pass this JSON and we'll just show the response. Let's create a scripted REST API. I'll simply create it as tasks. Let's save this. Okay. In that, we'll need to create the resource. So I'll just create a new resource. as we are creating a record so i'll just keep that as post and i'll say task records okay so here we'll be passing that from the request body so we'll just get the request body here so how we'll do that request dot body dot data okay so this is our request body uh, so we'll just go here and copy this code okay so i'll just paste that here now we need to replace this json with request body so let me just replace that okay so uh, we have here uh, the full code okay now let's just save this we are not returning anything so 
I'll just say create task records. Okay, let's save this. Now we can test this from Postman or we have Explore REST API here. So I'll just click on Explore REST API. So if we are using for the first time, then we get the button called Explore. Then we'll just click on that. Uh, the API which we created is automatically populated here. Okay, now we need to add the request body, right? So I'll just add here that request body and I'll simply click on send. Okay, now we can see that's 200. We are not returning anything. If I go to incidents, I should have two more records here. Yeah, we have two more records. If I go to change request, I have one more change request here. So this is how we can process the JSON and create the records. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please hit the thumb icon and share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you.